Hello, this is Luke from Ryanet, and today I want to talk about DTG Ink, specifically what you need to do with it when you're storing it and what I recommend doing with it daily. So let's go ahead and jump in the video. So I've got the polyprint behind me and we're going to be using polyprint ink in this video. However, this information can be useful for just about any type of DTG you may have in your shop. Now, if we take a look, I've got two kind of setups here. One is going to be in a box. This is how we ship the ink from Ryanet for the polyprint. And the other one is going to be ink that I just pulled straight out of the printer. So why am I showing these two different setups? Well, one, because if you're storing ink, there's a couple of recommendations I have, and two, daily or whenever you're gonna print, there's other recommendations that I have too. We're gonna get into those in just a sec, but first, why are we only showing white ink? Well, CMYK is absolutely important, and when it comes to storage, there's some things I'm gonna talk about, but specifically, white ink is going to be the most fragile or temperamental ink. There's certain particulates in that ink we don't wanna separate, um, and when that happens, you'll actually see tiny little pinholes in the ink and your underbase and your white will not be as vibrant as it really should be. So we're gonna avoid that by just following these things that I'm talking about in this video. So when you're storing ink, the number one thing to know is when is it going to expire? Typically, DTG ink has a six month to a year long shelf life. Make sure and check with your manufacturer to get the specifics on the one that you have in your shop. Now, when you're storing ink like this, for instance, at least once a week, go in there, shake it up or flip it over. Now that is again to help make sure that those particulates do not separate um, before they get put into the machine. And in fact, whenever we store them, we flip them over or they're put on special pallets that will vibrate or move the ink every so often. Now what about when the ink is in the machine? So every day in my shop, what I do is I take the white ink out, I shake it up like this. Sometimes what I'll also even do is kind of pat it on my hand like that. Um, what we're doing is we're just agitating ink, making sure that those particulates do not um, you know, get separated out. So literally that much is all you need to do at the start of every day is what I recommend, or at the very least whenever you're gonna be printing with the machine. Now, do you need to do the shaking and stuff like that for CMYK every day? No, you don't necessarily have to do that, but you absolutely do need to make sure and flip it every day whenever it's going, or every week, excuse me, when it is in your shop and storage. And when it comes to storage, also make sure to I always recommend purchasing um, you know, enough ink to have extra on hand. Do I recommend purchasing tons and tons of ink at a time? No, because you might not run out of all of that. Now, if you know how much ink you're using on a weekly, monthly basis, then absolutely. But um, I'd rather you purchase enough to have extra on hand. And for instance, in our shop, we have uh, two extra sets of ink kind of in, in the stock. So we've got three full sets, including what's in the uh, printer at all times. So when that set goes out, I order a new set. So that way I always have two sets of things. So those are kind of three major tips or three major subjects that we've covered in this video. Let's go through them again real quick. One, when you are ordering and storing ink, make sure at least every week to flip it over or agitate it. Two, daily, or at least whenever you're gonna use the machine, make sure that you are shaking and agitating the white ink up. And this is what I do every day as I come in. I pull, there's four cartridges, I pull them out two at a time, and I do this guy. That's it, okay? It's agitating ink, make sure it's, making sure it's not separating. And the third tip is ordering habits. Make sure, and it's you always wanna have extra ink, but I don't recommend you have tons and tons of ink. For instance, again, with me, in our shop, we have two extra sets of ink um, on hand at all times, and whenever the ink that's in the machine goes out, I order another one so that I've got one set in the machine and two extra sets, guaranteed always. Thank you so much for taking a look at this video. Really appreciate it. If you give us a thumbs up, if you liked it, feel free to post any questions you have in the comment section. And if you have further questions or would like to talk to us about DTG or just garment decorating in general, you can reach out to us at Ryanet and make sure to reach out to us on social platform as well too. Have a great one and I look forward to seeing some cool prints coming out from you soon.